In the summer of 2004, Funimation announced that they were thinking about launching their own TV channel. In a video, the company's president, Gen Fukunaga, said that Funimation is always looking for new ways of providing anime to the fans. We're considering a 24-hour, 7 days a week TV channel focusing on uncut, English dubbed anime, available as an additional channel to your current basic satellite or cable package. This channel would include your favorite anime programming, including Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho, Kitty Grade, Tenchi Muyo GXP, Case Closed, Fruits Basket, Blue Gender, and many other great anime. Alongside the video message, you would find a short survey. They were not only trying to gauge your level of interest in this hypothetical channel, but they also wanted to know if you had a cable or satellite provider, and if you did, which one. News about this died down for a while, but the idea certainly wasn't dead. On September 29, 2005, Funimation announced the launch of the Funimation channel, an anime-focused 24-hour digital network. It would feature some of the most popular anime in their catalog, including some previously mentioned titles like Yu Yu Hakusho and Dragon Ball, as well as some that they didn't mention initially, like Full Metal Alchemist. It wasn't going to be a premium channel. According to ICV2, unlike ADV's The Anime Network, which remains a pay-for-play video-on-demand channel, the Funimation channel was designed from the beginning as a linear network available to viewers as a part of a cable package. The programming for the nascent channel will be an evolving mix and will include programming from top-rated shows in Japan that have not been aired in the US. At the beginning of the next year, on March 23, 2006, the Funimation channel acquired its first customer. It had sold the two-hour block to Colors TV, America's first multicultural television network. And while most people had probably never even heard of it, Colors was a nationally broadcasted network that was available to around 12 million U.S. households. While most of them were Dish Network subscribers, where it was included in the basic package, it was also available in several states through local cable providers. The details of the block hadn't been finalized at the time of this announcement, but the following shows were being considered. Kodacha, Case Closed, The Galaxy Railways, Yu Yu Hakusho, Tenchi Muyo GXP, Kitty Grade, Blue Gender, and Baki the Grappler. They were also thinking about having different shows air on weekends and weekdays in order to target different demographics, and the block was being given the 10 p.m. to midnight time slot. The Funimation channel would debut on Colors on Monday, June 19th. Every weekday, viewers would be able to watch an episode of Kodacha, Case Closed, The Galaxy Railways, and Spiral. On the weekend, the programming would switch to Tenshi Muyo GXP, Kitty Grade, Blue Gender, and Baki the Grappler. The block appears to have been successful, because just a few months after it debuted, they decided to expand it. On August 24th, Herb Kirchhoff told Anime News Network that the block would extend its broadcasting window by two hours. Starting on September 4th, Every day of the week, you'd be able to watch Anime on Colors from 8 p.m. to midnight. The broadcasting of the extended block would end up being delayed until September 11th, but more details were revealed on September 7th. According to Gen Fukunaga, based on strong fan feedback and network partner response, we are pleased to announce that the Funimation Channel syndicated anime block will double from 2 hours to 4 hours. Once again, this is outstanding news for anime and entertainment fans in the United States, as we continue to offer new and exciting programming to a growing number of households. There was also a statement from Tracy Winchester, the president and CEO of Colors TV. We are excited about expanding our lineup schedule with the programming content that is in great demand by our urban, savvy viewers. In order to fill the extra two hours of airtime, they would add several shows and a few movies to the lineup. Weekday broadcasts would also feature episodes from Fruits Basket, Yu Yu Hakusho, Slayers, and Nekima. On the weekends, the extra two hours would be filled by various Lupin films. Side note, I couldn't find a full list of every Lupin movie that aired on the network, but it looks like there were at least three, Dead or Alive, Twilight Gemini, and Harimau's Treasure. Things would only get better for anime fans at the end of the year. On November 10th, Funimation announced that Dragon Ball would be making its way back onto television screens in the US on Monday, November 13th. It would be added to the weekday programming block on Colors TV and air at 10 p.m., replacing the Galaxy Railways. They also announced that there would be a six-hour Dragon Ball marathon on Thanksgiving Day. With everything that's happened so far, it looked like the Funimation block on Colors was a runaway success, but there were always issues. It just took a bit of time for people to notice. The first thing to note is that Dragon Ball would be the last new addition to the block's lineup, meaning that, for the rest of its existence, it would continue to air the same small selection of titles. You'd think that this issue would be mitigated by all of the long-running series that they added to the block. Even if they had to rebroadcast a show like Spiral, for example, you might still tune in for new episodes of Dragon Ball or Yu Yu Hakusho. Unfortunately, it looks like Funimation either didn't acquire or didn't grant Colors TV the rights to broadcast these shows in their entirety. In Yu Yu Hakusho's case, the broadcast would always restart after episode 21, at the end of the 4 St. Beast arc, Case Closed would only air the first three seasons of the show, despite all of season 4 and part of season 5 being dubbed. Even though this still ended up being 56 episodes, it was airing 5 episodes a week. Only the first season of Kodacha, which was the only one that was dubbed, aired on the network. It doesn't look like Slayers aired anything past its first season, and it looks like Dragon Ball would restart after episode 28, at the end of the tournament saga. In addition to repeating the same shows over and over, Colors would continue to show the same small selection of commercials over and over and over again.
After all the news and excitement of 2006, 2007 was a year of stagnation and decline. Not only was there no new news about the block, but before the end of the year, they had reduced the block's time slot from 4 hours back to 2. Things only got worse in 2008, and the entire weekend block got the axe in the middle of April. And after that, fans weren't surprised by what happened next. On April 30th, 2008, all anime disappeared from Colors TV. The next day, Anime News Network reported that the network would no longer carry the Funimation channel. Colors would return to his regular programming for the next several years, but it was shut down in July of 2011. On July 13th, when Dish Network subscribers visited the channel, the following text was displayed. We regret that Colors TV is no longer carried by any national satellite or cable provider. While this text was changed on the 16th to specify that it was no longer available on Dish, the original message, in the end, was correct.